Hi, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielky and today's project is to crochet a uh, baby beach sandal just like this. Actually it's not really a sandal, it's just a decorative uh, little thing that goes all over a uh, baby's uh, toe and uh, then ties around the ankle. Okay, so this is our project for today. You will need a 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, yarn of DK weight or also light worsted and a needle for weaving in the ends. These baby uh, beach sandals are made out of two colors. I used two colors on, on them and you can go and choose whatever color you want. Okay, And it consists of uh, three rows. So it's going to be a very uh, fast and easy project and kind of fun. So we will start with this uh, knot stitch. Okay, uh, I'm sure many of you know how to do that. Uh, and then we will continue with chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will join and now I will make three chain, one, two, three, and I will make two double crochet, one, two, okay, so, and so this counts as a double crochet, so we have like three double crochets next to each other. Now we will make chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we will make three double crochet. One, two, and three. I think I need to move my camera up a little bit. After you make three uh, double crochet stitches, make four chain. One, two, three, four. And again, three double crochet. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. Make again four chain just like over here. So make one, two, three, four chain. Now we will make three double crochet again. One, two, and three. And as you see, I've been crocheting around the around this uh, tail, so I, I'll just cut it off later on. And now we need to make seven chain, just like in here, okay? And so this is going to be the upper wing, at the bottom wings here, and this is going to be another upper wing. So seven chain. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and join into the circle right at the chain three, uh, at the right there on the top with a slip stitch. So you pull yarn through and pull yarn through. Okay, so that's our uh, first row. Now second row is that we do need to get right into this space, chain seven space. So after you slip stitch it, you will make two extra slip stitches along the edge of the 3DC. So this is one and this is two. Okay, so I did two slip stitches right there. Now make a single crochet stitch and one more single crochet stitch. So into chain seven a space I made two single crochet stitches 
Now we will make two half double crochet stitches. So this is so what you need to do is yarn over, right? Then you go and pull yarn through and then you pull yarn through all three of these. So that's one half double crochet, one more half double crochet stitch. Okay. Now we will do five double crochet stitches. So yarn over and instead of pulling it through all three of them you pull it through two only and then two again. That's one double crochet stitch and this is two double crochet stitches and this is third one four double crochet stitches and this is five double crochet stitches okay now we will do two half double crochet stitches so this is going to be one half double crochet stitch and two half double crochet stitch where you pull it through all three of these loops and now we will do two single crochet stitches so this is one and two okay now we will again do two slip stitches along this edge so this is going to be one one slip stitch and second slip stitch and now we will do into the chain four we will make one single crochet stitch now one half double crochet stitch so yarn over and pull it through all three of these now three double crochet stitches so this is one double crochet stitch two double crochet stitch and three double crochet stitch okay now we will do again half one half double crochet stitch one half double crochet right there and single crochet stitch single crochet stitch and again we will go along this edge we will make slip stitches two slip stitches that's one and two And now we will do exactly the same thing what we did in here. We will do along this chain four uh, space, okay? So we will do one single crochet stitch, one half double crochet stitch, and I'll go a little faster. You can replay. Um, you can replay this part if you need to go slower, okay? And this is going to be dub three double crochet stitches. So this is one, two, three, and half double crochet stitch right here through all three, and a single crochet stitch, single crochet. Okay, and now we will go and do again slip two slip stitches along this side so one here one slip stitch another slip stitch and now we need to just finish around the edge around this line of seven chains so we will do two single crochet stitches one two just like over here okay now two half double crochet stitches so this is one half double crochet second half double crochet now we need to do five double crochet stitches one two three four 
and five. And if I'm going fast right now, just replay the first part, this part where I was making the first wing, okay? Now we need to do uh, two half double crochet stitches. So this is one half double crochet stitch and two. And last two single crochet stitches around uh, chain seven. So this is one and one more, one more. And we need to join into a circle here. Okay, very good. And we will uh, cut this off. Our next step is to make uh, the blue outline of this butterfly uh, and we will actually start on the string. Uh, I started right here and then I went all around, okay, and my string that goes around the ankle, that ties around the ankle, okay, that is about, mine is about 12 to 14 inches long and you make your uh, your string as long as you want. So uh, make a chain uh, about 12 to 16 inches long, okay, or whatever length you want it. I made my chain um, same length as the other one and we will attach it, we will attach it over here and we will actually start right here, okay, in this spot. And we will make simply a single crochet stitch right in there, in that spot. So make a single crochet stitch. And you were working all the time on the right side, okay? Now we will make eight single crochet stitches. So this is one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now make uh, six chain, one, two, three, four, five, six chain and then count one, two, three, third. Put your uh, hook into the third uh, chain and make a slip stitch. Hold it with the with your thumb right here. Okay, make a slip stitch and then make a slip stitch again in the next one. Make a slip stitch. That's two slip stitches. Three slip stitches. And four slip stitches. After you made your slip stitches into the chain, you make slip stitch right in that uh, spot where you place the last single crochet stitch. So you will slip stitch right there to connect it. Okay. And now we will continue with 12 single crochet stitches. So this is all around the edge, okay? That's one, two, three, ten, and two more. One and two. So that's 12. I just did 12 single crochet stitches and we will make four chain. One, two, three, four. And we will do again what we did over here, except it's gonna be shorter. So we will skip one, two, and into third one, we make a slip stitch. One and one more. One more slip stitch right here into that chain and we're finished with these chains 
and we are going to make one more slip stitch right where we did last single cro single crochet okay and we will continue going right around the edge over here into this spot right there so let's go and make two one two single crochet stitches and now we will make one more single crochet stitch right here okay and we will make eight chain one two three four five six seven eight that's where the the little toe is little baby's toe is going to go in there and then next we will go and make another single crochet stitch right there and we will so this is one and we did three over here right one two three it was four okay so we have to kind of go into fourth so this is one okay so this is second actually so this is one two one two this is three and four right here because because if we count backwards one two three and this little uh, squiggly thing is in a fourth from the tail okay so now we need to make four chain just like here okay one two three four and we will go into the third chain one two third chain and we will make slip stitch right there that's one and one more here into this chain and last chain goes where the uh, single crochet stitch was where we crocheted last single crochet stitch okay so that's it and now we have to do 12 single crochet stitches because we did 12 right here so we need to do 12 single crochet stitches right there so that's one two so this is one and two which is 12 and now we will do what we did over here we will do right there so we will make six chain one two three four five six and now we will go into the third stitch right here third chain one two three right and we will make slip stitch and we will make three more slip stitches into those chains so this is one so that's actually just two three and four okay because we did four slip stitches over over the here on this side okay into the chain and now we still need to do one more uh, slip stitch where we did last single crochet stitch there and we will finish with crocheting uh, single crochet stitches around the edge okay so that's one and we're going to go right here let's make the eighth one right there and make it nice and tight okay good all right and now what we need to do is finish the string this string we need to crochet exactly the same length or approximately if you want you, you don't have to have it exact because when it's tied nobody will notice if it's a little shorter or longer but I will make it almost the same just make a long chain 12 to 16 inches long for a baby I think you can wrap it around several times around the baby's ankle if you want
Okay, a little bit more. See, I'm almost there. About six more uh, stitches, six more chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go and measure again. I measure like this. I run it between my fingers. Okay, well, I can do one more. There, we're gonna cut this off. Cut it off. Make it nice and tight on both, both ends. And make a knot. Make a knot. And I kind of push it when I'm making knot, I push it to the edge and make it tight. So I have like two little knots right here. See, this was a knot right there. And I make one more knot and push it closer there. Make it tight. And now we just leave a little little edge, little tail there. It's okay, just tiny bit. So now all I have to do is weave in the ends. And that's it. So now we have two cute beach sandals for a little baby. So Yoda and I, we would like to say thank you so much for watching my videos. And we want to say goodbye, but before we say goodbye, I want to say also that not, you don't have to make only these, but there are many others that you could go and make. And I have made also these right here. And they have actually even a little a bead, and it's a metal, metal bead. And these are actually for uh, more like uh, more likely uh, for an adult, and they're really cute and very colorful and perfect for the beach. Okay, so uh, Yoda and I would like to go and say thank you for watching our videos, for being our friends and fans, and if you share our videos, it will be very very appreciated and. I will see you next time. So till next time, have a great time crocheting or knitting. Bye! You want to say goodbye to our fans, right? But we have to tell them. We have to tell them what we did. my beautiful things here. Okay, let's go and tell our friends goodbye, huh?